Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solution. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about information rights management in Office 365. When you're starting to think about moving to the cloud, security is one of those things that will definitely come into the discussion. And um, rightly so, because of course you're losing some of the control. However, Microsoft argues with some merit that when you place things into the cloud, they're actually more secure than they could possibly be within your own organization because they have a lot of procedures and they have a lot of technology to make your information secure. However, all that is not enabled by default, so some of it you need to enable. One of those features is information rights management. Most likely you have never implemented this before, even though it's actually almost 15 years old now when I'm doing this demo, because it was very tricky to do in your own environment. In Office 365, though, it's much easier. The concept behind the information rights management is that each and every document that you upload to SharePoint or attach to an email gets encrypted. And when Office tries to open one of those encrypted documents, it goes out to the Office 365 security servers and asks for your specific permissions on this document. It's a really, really powerful thing. And you can also specify what each user should be able to do with this document. So it protects against accidental leakage, and it also makes all your information a lot more secure. So let's go into the specific now. You should really read up on this. Don't just take my word for it. Of course, when it comes to security, you should read a lot about that, of course, and not just my word. But what I'm going to show you in this demo is, an, is how to enable it. Um, you do that by going into the admin settings. You go in here under settings and under services and add-ins. There you'll find a lot of different features that I'm sure you can spend a lot of time on. And I will hopefully have time to demonstrate a lot more of these features. One I want to talk about now, though, is the information rights management, which has recently changed name to the Microsoft Azure Information Protection. So I'm going to manage that, manage those settings. And now I'm going to be transferred to another site, the Azure Management site. We're back to the rights management wording. And as you see, you have the advanced features. For that, you need to sign up for an Azure subscription. I'm not going to do that here, but I just want to enable the rights management. I'm going to activate that, and in a few seconds, that is going to be activated. You have a lot more information about it, but that's the first step towards enabling rights management in both SharePoint and Exchange. Thank you for watching this demonstration.